welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial, and in this one, I'll be showing you how to make this super simple, super easy 1.16 auto tree farm with leaf crushers. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's tutorial. And right off the bat, as always, we have got a materials list for you guys. So just pause the video here and gather up all of these materials. And this is what you will need to build this auto tree farm. Along with this, just bring a ton of building blocks because you are going to need a lot of them. With that out of the way, let's get into actually building it. All right, before we start this video, it should be taken note that this is a more complex design. So if this is too difficult for you or too resource intensive, I will leave links both on the screen and in the description for some other designs that I've built that are both both simpler and cheaper. So with that out of the way, let's get into actually building it. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have a five by five square and a three by three just like this. So the five by five is two blocks tall and the three by three is one block tall. So just like this. And then there are a couple more blocks that we need to add. We need to add two blocks right here and then two blocks right here and a block of dirt right here. So make sure that this matches up. Pause the video, make sure it matches because this is a guide for the actual redstone. And now we're going to get into the redstone. So let's move on. All right. So the first thing you want to do is set down a dispenser facing into this block. And this is going to be where you're going to AFK. And this is going to dispense all of the saplings into your inventory. So you want to grab a hopper, run it into that dispenser, and then a bunch of hoppers running into one another, all snaking around until this dirt block, which there's going to be a block with another dispenser on top. Now building the main clock you want to set down your lever on this block right here and connect this up with blocks in the back just like this and run this around just like that and now you want to grab your redstone dust and connect up to this dispenser right here and then you want to come over by four blocks up and then two blocks right here with a redstone dust and a repeater and a block separating the redstone right here you want to break this block and then set down another redstone dust just like this and then set down two redstone torches right here. And this is gonna be the main clock that's gonna power everything. Two blocks on top of those redstone repeaters, redstone dust right here. And as you can see, it starts firing. You wanna come back over here and flick the lever back on. And this is your on and off switch. So right now it is off because the clock has stopped and then back on and now the clock is back on. So just like that, this is the main clock and this powers pretty much the entire farm. All right, so the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna get down the piston layer. So we're gonna set down a piston in front of this dirt block and then build up by four. So four pistons and then on top of here, we want an observer with the base in the same direction as the piston faces. If we come one block over here, we want to have a wall of pistons. So one block up from the, well, ground layer. I'm calling the dirt block the ground layer. So one block up from the ground layer and then we want to set down three wide by four tall. So this piston layer will go all the way up to the observer layer. And then we just want to mirror this onto the other side, just like this. So one, two, and then three. Again, one block up from the ground and then building up by four, just like this. And now we're gonna link it up with redstone. All right, so when connecting this up with redstone lines, you just wanna simply place blocks pretty much running directly next to all of the pistons except for right there, and then connect this all up with redstone dust, just like this, come around the back, and we're pretty much gonna do the same thing to the bottom layer. So we want this block set one down, so this is gonna power the top two, and then we need another row right here, which is gonna power the bottom two, and run this back around and do the same thing on this side, and then over here, we got to do some special business because obviously we need to power this one. So we're going to set down a block right here, a block right here, a block right here, and a block right here. And this is just so that the connections don't merge with the redstone lines. And then over here, we need to set down a block just like this and a block right here. And now we need to connect this up with glass just like this and then a block right here. So now what we want to do is just connect this all up with the redstone over and around and the same thing over here do the glass as well and then run this right here and as you can see it's all connected now it looks very messy i will give you that it looks very messy but trust me it will work and we can test this out by grabbing some blocks and just running it up like this and as you can see this is leaves so these don't actually have to break it's just this bottom four and these are going to be the logs so the logs are going to get pushed and then this leaf is going to be right here and it'll be updated and all that good stuff but as you can see it works all of the piston pushers work as well so the leaf crushers are good and now we're going to move on to making the piston wall right here to put it into a nice square for you guys 
All right, so the next thing you want to do is set down a nice little glass arch right here. So you want to build one block up above these hoppers, and you want to go all the way up to the observer layer and then back down again. Then you want to grab your building blocks, and we're going to set down a piston wall. So you want to come to this third piston and build out just like this. Make two blocks right here, and then come out by nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, just like this. And then in the back, so it's a two by nine right here. And then one block down, we want to have another two by nine right underneath of it. And this is gonna be where the redstone sits for the piston wall. And then the second layer, redstone again. Now we can punch out this first layer because this is going to be where the pistons are going to be. So we wanna grab our pistons and just run them right here and right here and then up and then break this layer just like that and then go right here and we want to make sure that it's four blocks tall so it should be a four piston uh tall piston wall <laughs> a four tall piston wall there we go okay that's a tongue twister and a half and then on the back here we want to have all of our redstone hooked up into the back of the pistons on our nice little walls here all right one of the last things that you want to do is set down an observer facing in the direction of these observer in front of it and then we're gonna place blocks on the back here. And this is gonna be one of the most iconic things for my channel, this nice little clock. And we're just gonna run redstone around right here. Redstone repeater, redstone repeater. Set this one to two ticks, then break this block. Set down a piece of glass and a piece of glass right here. Put down redstone dust on both of those and then connect this up with blocks right here. And then redstone dust, redstone dust, and a repeater. And then just to test out to see if it works, set down a block in front of that repeater. If the wall fires all at once and only once, then you know that it is good. And don't worry if the second half double fires like it did. That's totally okay and it's not going to affect the farm whatsoever. And the next thing and final thing that you want to do is set down the bone meal input. So you just want to connect up hoppers into the back of this dispenser, which is our bone meal dispenser. And then you're pretty much just going to wrap hoppers all the way around the farm, coming in on this last layer of redstone right here. And then just set down a double chest right here. And this is going to be where you dump all of your bone meal in to power the farm. So with that being said, all I got to do now is show you how to use the farm. And then you have a working 1.16 tree farm at your disposal. All right, so to use it, all you got to do is dump all of your bone meal into this double chest. And this will auto you know, fill up this dispenser right here. But there is one more very, very important step that I forgot of building this, and this is very important. You wanna to come to this observer, build up by two, and it out by one. So you wanna have this little shape and then break these. And this is to make sure that you don't get any mega or jackpot trees or whatever you wanna call them. We don't want any of the super big trees. We only want the normal sized trees. So now what you're gonna do is come down here and you're gonna grab your saplings, press this lever, and then the bone meal will start being dispensed. And then you can just set up an auto clicker. You can press right click, you can tap, you can do left trigger, you can do whatever. However you place trees, you place trees and an auto clicker will work for this. Some of them take a while, but others will take a shorter amount of time as you saw right there. And as you can see, there are saplings both in our inventory and in front of us. And this will continue for every sapling that we plant. And it takes about 30 minutes for the entire nine by 12 of trees to fill up. So now that you have this, I don't know what you guys are gonna do with all this wood. Hopefully you guys have some big projects. Comment down below what you're gonna do with all of this wood. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and found it useful. Well, if you did, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. It means a lot, and I want to try and make some better tutorials here in the future. That being said, this is 1FMC, and I'll see you guys in the next one.